Hey Beeves, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a really lovely, silky, soothing facial gel, which was inspired by a La Roche Posay product. I'd say this simple gel has three star ingredients. So the first two are both rather unassuming white powders. We have panthenol and allantoin. And so both of these ingredients are great for soothing, irritated skin. And our third starring ingredient is hyaluronic acid. I have used a 1% stock of a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. If you would like to learn more about this, please make sure you are looking up hyaluronic acid in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. There are quite a few different weights of hyaluronic acid, and I also teach you how to make your own 1% stock so you can buy the concentrated powder and then make your own stock which makes it a lot easier to work with since we need such a tiny amount of it and it does take a while to hydrate it so I like to make a stock in advance and keep that on hand so I can really easily work with hyaluronic acid whenever I need some of its gorgeous silky deeply moisturizing goodness in my life. I've gelled this product using Sepamax Zen, and if you are looking for more information on this ingredient, please make sure you look it up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. I've also included some substitution suggestions, substitution suggestions at the end of the formulation in the partner blog post, which as always is linked in the description box below. I've opted to leave this facial gel unscented, but if you would like to add something to make it smell pretty, you could very easily trade 30 or 40% of the distilled water for a hydrosol of choice for really lovely, soft fragrance. Making this is really simple. We do need a little bit of waiting time in there to allow the gelling agent to hydrate, but that is pretty much it. You don't need any heat, so once everything is hydrated and then been mixed together until it's nice and smooth, we'll just pop it in a package and we are done. So come on, let's get started. We're going to begin by predispersing our gelling agent in some propanidiol and some dimethicone 350. So you'll need 0.75 grams of Sepamax Zen. And to that, we're going to add 1.5 grams of Propanidiol 1,3 and 1.5 grams of Dimethicone 350. And if you need substitutions, please make sure you're reading the blog post. I always discuss substitutions there, or you can look up these ingredients in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia for even more substitution suggestions. And now we're going to whisk to combine and to predisperse that powder as much as possible through the liquids. Up next, we're going to add our panthenol, the vitamin B5, and the allantoin. So we'll need one and a half grams of panthenol and 0.15 grams allantoin. You can give that a bit of a stir, but it's gonna be pretty dry. And then our last three ingredients. In this little bowl, I already have 34.4 grams of distilled water and I went ahead and added the 0.2 grams of Liquid Dermal Plus, our preservative, to this little dish to reduce loss and also reduce dishes. And then in this dish, I have 10 grams of a 1% low molecular weight hyaluronic acid stock. And to learn more about this, please make sure you're looking up hyaluronic acid in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia and reading the blog post I wrote on it and on how to make this this solution. So we're just gonna add both to our beaker. Give that a bit of a stir. So once you have incorporated that about as thoroughly as you can and broken up some clumps, there will still definitely be clumps, don't worry about that. It's time to leave it to sit and hydrate. So I'm just gonna cover the beaker with a bit of cling film and set it aside for a few hours. Overnight is great if you have some errands to run or some work to do. Yeah, just like set it aside to hydrate. Kind of the longer you give it, the easier it will be to stir it into a uniform solution later. All right, so it has been about four hours and this has hydrated quite nicely. You can kind of see it's like a <laughs> uneven grayish blob. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give this a quick stir and then we're going to blend it to make sure it's nice and silky smooth and uniform. So I don't know if that comes across perhaps a little bit better on the spatula, how it's not you know, completely uniform. So I'll just, yeah, give it a bit of a blending to make sure it is. So to do that, I'm gonna use this little mini mixer. You could use a whisk too. It's just faster to use something more powerful. Thank you. 
once the product is nice and silky smooth and uniform, all that's left to do is packaging. So for packaging, I'm going to use one of these great little 50 milliliter soft squeeze tubes from Yellow Bee. This was a gift. And to fill it, I'm going to use a syringe. Now, quite conveniently, this syringe just sort of sits very nicely in this vintage glass jar. So I'll use this to prop it up so that I can fill it. So we're gonna start by squeezing as much air as possible out of the tube so that we're making room for the product. And then we'll get the plunger in here. And make sure as you're working, you're kind of pulling back and letting air escape out of the tube. Otherwise you can make quite the mess and have quite the sort of uh, mini blast of product go all over your workspace. Just sad. Amazingly well. I'm rather proud of myself. <laughs> so for a bit of an application demo, I'm just going to kind of grab some that was left in the beaker. I don't want anything to go to waste. You can see that it goes on the skin as a relatively you know, a clear gel uh, and then massage it in. It has just the most wonderful slip thanks to the dimethicone. Uh, you can see it really it goes uh, quite a ways. And then we'll just give that a moment to dry down. And once it dries down, it has quite a velvety skin feel. It's not sticky. Uh, yeah, it's really, really lovely. And there we go. So we just made a really lovely, silky, soothing facial gel featuring vitamin B5 and elantoin and hyaluronic acid. If you're looking for more details on this formulation, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. There you'll find lots more information, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more. But yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you next time.